We're 70 degrees south, just off Cape Adair, Antarctica, and a storm is headed our way. Having invested so much time to get here, we're unwilling to flee north to safety. So we head south, deeper into the Ross Sea, hoping to get below the worst of the weather. It's late in the season, and the seawater is hovering just a few degrees above freezing. Any day now, the mouth of the Ross Sea will close in with ice and won't reopen till the following summer. The air is so cold that ocean spray turns to shards of ice before it hits the deck. Already, the weather is larger than we had anticipated. It will eventually develop into a Force 12 hurricane of ice, with wind gusts exceeding 100 miles per hour. But that is still hours away. The full force of the storm won't be on us until the middle of the night. Visibility is decreasing by the minute, and we're plowing through massive waves that conceal marauding icebergs. Going on watch is a sobering experience. Adding to our worries, our engine has started to smoke white, and we're losing fuel injectors we have no replacements for. Our diesel has begun to freeze, and we suspect it's contaminated with seawater. The waves are so strong, they have bent back the steel anchor plate, allowing water into the forward anchor locker. Infinity has taken on so much water, her bow is riding noticeably lower in the water, and she's digging ever deeper into the waves. All we can do is make sure everything is sealed as tight as possible in an attempt to limit the flooding. We will have to wait for calmer weather to pump out the forward compartment. At best, we are a week or more away from any assistance. We're very much on our own. We're in a giant universe of forces that are out of our control, and we're feeling very small. To quote a wise man, when everything goes wrong, that's when adventure starts. Yeah.